For Thursday, June 3rd, 2021, it's the Sereno Squadcast, the official podcast of the Sereno Squad. Welcome, everyone, to this week's episode of the Squadcast. This week we've got the, the crew here. We've got Evan. Hi. We've got Wayne. <laughs> and we've got Paul. Hello. And I'm so, Gunner. Before we start, I just have to ask, Evan, did you time you pushing up your glasses to the laser blast? Because if you didn't, it, it synced up perfectly. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Maybe. We'll never know. That's production value right there. Thank you, Evan, for doing that Everyone for the show. Our whole budget. <laughs> don't tell everyone no, your that's whole, where your, our money goes your whole budget went to the shirt yeah we all are hoping that the shirt really really knocks it out of the park for this episode and then we'll get you know get everybody on here welcome everyone to this week's episode uh we've got a couple approvals to go over and we're gonna review uh, uh maybe maybe even a show and tell i, I see a, a preview a sneak peek um, and also, we're going to go over, it's episode four and five? Yes. Yes. We're already at four and five. Jeez. Yes. Yep, of the Bad Batch. Eleven more to go. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But uh, first off, let's check out those approvals with some Legion news. Oh, yeah, we're going to bring them in. Uh, that is the first thing Legion news. news they get approved, then we speak of it. Yes. Oh, before we get into that, I, before I forget, I gotta show you guys something. Um, a lesson that I I was aware of, but I really felt uh, I, I felt it actually happen to me is uh, leaving your 3D printed parts in cars, mm-hmm. especially on a warm day. Um, I don't think this is going to end well. It's, <laughs> it's it's not the droid, thank God, but it is probably one of my favorite prints, um, just because it was so simple. But as I as I show it to you, I think you're going to notice what's wrong with. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, no! Oh, He's leaning oh. slightly west there, sir. Yes, slightly to the left. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a few bends going on. Wow, it's not pretty. Oh, now he why looks was, just like the rest of us. Why was that in your car? So I had uh, left it in there like an idiot from the uh, from Big Lake Com uh, the comic store on May the fourth, like a month ago. Like a what month was ago. It, it was in the floorboard. So it was just like sitting on that little protective, that rug, that little mat, and then hanging off of it, and then hanging up the side of the, it was just. Okay, we'll go put it back out there on a flat surface, and let it heat it back up the other way. Yeah, <laughs> and then watch it before it droops back that way. <laughs> we might can save it with the heat gun, you know. Yeah. It might be possible. Mm. Anyways, I thought I'd... I'd sh- show you guys that that was uh kind of sad yet kind of funny kind of hilarious we have some approval you start photos. aiming with the other hand <laughs> <laughs> all right here cool. we have the approval of cc 10930 and our that is our garrison membership fees on aka gml who approves all the costumes but not his own. Yeah, he can't. He can't approve his own. That really? Is that is something special. Well, did a good job, Captain Rex. The, mm-hmm. the I like the paint job on the helmet. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Pretty well done. Yeah, for the listeners, it's the cold weather gear, Captain Rex. Yeah. So it's not it's sure. Probably the only one you'll ever see. Yeah. It's, yeah. The uh, the snow clone costume is. It's a cool look, but almost nobody makes those pieces now. So it's very hard to, if, if it's one you want to make, it's very hard to get started. Okay. 
It's prob- there's probably one, and it's probably that one, and it just passes back from person to person. <laughs> this doesn't say specifically, but is this an animated? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Gosh. You should really watch Star Wars. I think you'd like. It. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think that Rex was ever wearing this in a, a film, but. No, Rex was never, but never has. Uh, Rex has never appeared in a film. Uh, but this is in season one of Clone Wars. They go to the uh, the moon of Pantora. More on that later. Oh, um, I, that, I knew that I recognized that name when we when we watched the episode. I was like, Pantora. That sounds so familiar. Yeah, yeah. This is where they're they're fighting the towels creatures in the snow and all that kind of stuff. I'll take your word for it. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, it's an awesome costume, and uh, did a good job. Did a real good job. Blue it is a cool. It is a cool look. You know, I feel like he did this one because it has uh, a thing to cover his beard. Because <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, you just stick see it sticking out of the bottom of the helmet, it's busting out. <sighs> well, it's kind of galactic marine looking too. I think that's where yeah. the look comes from. That and it's or somewhere the, between the Galactic Marines and the, the Snowtrooper. Imp- yeah, the the yeah. Empire Strikes Back, uh, you know, Hoth. Storm it almost got a Bakara feel to it. It's a shame we don't see more of these throughout definitely the show. Definitely does. Definitely does. You see a variation of it in season two. I know. I know. In at least one episode, uh, they're the Flamethrower Troopers. Oh. It's similar. I don't know if it's the exact same look, but it's similar. And just because it's Rex, Rex's armor is different than the generic troops. Of course it is. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Excellent work there. Uh, moving on to the next approval. We have TK21975 for the approval of his A New Hope Stormtrooper. Good old stormtrooper, you can't go wrong. Yeah, you never go wrong with a good old TK. Is that a mm-hmm. stunt? More than likely, yeah. Uh, yes, it is a stunt because there's only yeah. two two bolts on the uh, or two screws on the belt. Well, I can always tell because the frown on the hero is so much; it's missing a tooth on either side, so it looks really small. The hero helmet bothers me immensely. I think it is just hideous. Hmm. Yeah, the, the frown paint job is much smaller. Uh, bubble lenses, and the uh, belt has four rivets instead of two. We have minimalistic on the bow cutter, but I like it. It works. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Looks good. Looks clean. Um, yeah, man. I I I I printed the the helmet. So all I have to do, well, I have to make it, but I could just buy the armor. But I guess most kits come with um, the, the helmet and the armor, right? Yeah. You, most, you can get it without, but yeah, usually you get it all at one. All in you one. printed the Rogue One, right, Gunner? Yeah. Does the Rogue One uh, armor look any different? Yes, it's completely different to look exactly the same. Yeah. Ah, so I would have to print that. Yes. You're going out of focus. You're looking like the this is the last node photo of you. Me? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Like I'm disappearing in uh, yeah. Back to the Future? Yeah, you're beginning to look a little milk cart in there. Oh, yeah, you're back. <laughs> I feel like it's like the motion sensor lights. Like I got to keep yeah, moving. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't think anyone's here to see me anyway, so it doesn't matter. Look, um, man, our four people are going to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We have They're, seven viewers, okay? Yeah, and they are very, very, um, you know, they really pay attention. Very observative. Ob- observative? Is that a word? Observant. Observant. Thank you, Paul. I know you'd, you'd get me out of there. All yeah. right, well, I think that's it for the approvals. That would be it for the... Uh, for the legion news good job everyone yeah wow. yep, good job keep them coming people because there's nothing worse than not having any approvals oh no where'd you go sorry my mom was facetiming me oh. said, no denied yeah your mom denied can you not just send her a note and be like hey doing a thing on wednesday nights don't facetime me 
<laughs> she would never, ever, ever remember that. <laughs> I could put it on her calendar. It would still, it would get deleted. She'd buy a new phone. Not worth it. Oh, that's sweet of her. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, if that's it, I guess we're going to move on to our top story. Top story. Excuse me. <laughs> that's the, Ooh, that's the wrong seasick. franchise. I think yeah. I don't care. Evan is flipping. I'm not. I don't usually hold sick. the. I don't usually hold my tripod, but I put it. It was over here, and it just. I just was not. Was not feel. This is just did not feel like a flat angle, so I was. Got a little bit closer today. Yeah, better shot. Better shot. I mean, I don't. Plus, you can see the mustache. Style. Right. Yeah, we're all uh, men of facial hair, aren't we? Just. Uh, yeah. Whatever do you mean? <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, so we have two new episodes and uh, soon to be another one, but not quite there yet. Let me see. What do we got? What was the last episodes that we went That'll over? That'll be tomorrow. It was uh, Cut it was... And Run. The one with Fennec and the one with the Rancor. That's okay, all you that's, need. That's this, this, that's this week's. I said last week's, but but no, you're right. That is this week's. And uh, the number number four, episode four, is Cornered. Cornered. So, I kept thinking Captured. Like, wait, that's not right. You know, you're not too far off. Um, it's a C word. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, watch it. <laughs> so, Paul, tell us, tell us how, how it starts off. Uh, I had to re. For some reason, when I watched these episodes, my mind just kind of blanked on it. So I had to rewatch them today. Um, so the uh, cornered starts with uh, they're out of fuel, out of supplies, and on the run. Like they always. need stuff. They need stuff, but they ain't got stuff. And they they don't know how to live as non-soldiers. So they land on a. Uh, they go to Pantora. Yeah, call back from before. Yes. Also so the, the the only reason why I I was like Pantora and I I had a feel I was like was that in Clone Wars before? But what made me realize it was the, the like all those blue skinned people. I remembered that isn't that what George Lucas was in Episode Three? Wasn't he a Pantoran? Yes. Ah. Uh, interesting. Interesting. I don't know why I even remember that and not the Clone Wars episode. Baron Papa Noid. Yes. <laughs> That's his character's <laughs> name. Sure. Is he in the room with you, Paul? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have no idea what's going on. Don't worry but about Paul, it. Keep going. Keep going. But, uh, but Paul, you were saying they, uh, they're landing on the, what is it, Plantora? Is that what it's called? Plantora? Plantora. Plantora. Uh, Pantera, Pandora, <laughs> musical streaming. Yeah, gotcha. Pan Tor. Uh. <laughs> Pantora. It's uh it's it's a like what is it? Became a Freemason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quit the subliminal messaging. That's not this isn't the uh the Illuminati here. Um so, but anyways, continue. You're saying that they are coming onto the planet. They're going to be... Uh... Yes. So, they all have a mission. Uh, tech needs to scramble their signature thingy so that they're not as easily detected. Uh, and then Wrecker is going to go shop for supplies, and he's bringing Omega with them. Omega. 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 Our favorite character. Hannah. Paul, was it you who you posted in the in the like the squad chat it was uh like a how they pronounce all the name or how omega yeah. pronounces all the names yeah, it, was, it was hunter Rekka. <laughs> <laughs> they, they all ended in a instead of er <laughs> yeah that's kind of like the the new zealand thing yeah. it's a very very thick uh new zealand accent which i'm here for yeah I'm and the uh, the people who live in New Zealand appreciate Omega's accent much more than B. Bradley Baker's accent. I think the only time I've met anyone from New Zealand, other than is um, is Daniel Logan from New Zealand? Yes. 
okay, so I've met him, but he doesn't have very much of an accent, but I was in Sydney one time and we were hanging out at a bar in like the middle of the night and these three random dudes from uh from New Zealand came up and just started hanging out with us randomly. So those are the only four people I've ever met from uh New Zealand. There's three random guys and Daniel Logan. That's a great story. I know I know a couple Legion members from New Zealand and a uh person on Star Wars Twitter. Hmm. <laughs> Very interesting. Yes. Well, so so yeah, Omega is going with Wrecker. They're all going out. But you you were saying that uh Tech's gonna basically rewrite the signature on the ship because I guess they've got yeah. a warrant out on there. Yeah, he needs to file off the VIN number and change the plates. Nice. Real shady stuff. <laughs> but it's Star Wars, so you know. Yeah. Um So the bolt and- to get to the license plate is buried underneath the gas tank. <laughs> you have to take apart half the engine to get to it. <laughs> it's a Volkswagen. <laughs> and then um when they arrive, we see a uh oh, what kind of what kind of dude is he? Uh He's he all, is a Solicit. Is that what he is? Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, those guys are cool. This is what happens when you just you just watch Star Wars every I just, day. I just remember <laughs> the other the guy in uh Return of yes. the Jedi. Yeah, and he's like, yeah. That's like all he does <laughs> in the whole movie. <laughs> is it is it just me or are Solistons sort of like Star Wars's version of Ferengi? Or you know, other yeah, way around. Yeah, they like they Ferengi they're from all, Star yeah. Trek and yeah. Solistons from Star Wars sort of like give me the same vibe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's a couple they, shady <laughs> ones in Clone Wars and such. The the teeth, they don't they, they don't have the Ferengi teeth, but they do have like the exaggerated flaps of skin. Yeah. You know, the, yeah, I think the Ferengis, they have the ears and then yeah. the, yeah, the other guys, they got the, 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 the cheeks, the, yeah. the super cheeks. Yeah. I know a guy who, uh, uh, Randy Ward over in, I think he's in Baltimore, that area. Uh, he has, he's big in the Rebel Legion over there and he has a, what's that character's name? Nine Nub. Nine Nub. Yeah. yeah. He has one of those. So he has got the mask and the, the hat that goes on the head. And he got, the whole shebang it's awesome nice that sounds like a, a where did you meet him Evan? costume <laughs> yeah tell us i said well okay i technically he was at the premiere with me but i did not meet him i didn't actually technically meet him until i started getting into saber guild um, yeah so so still gotta take a drink yeah <laughs> Uh, James James Silvius is over there just pounding him back. Yeah, <laughs> good old James. Need to have James back on. Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, how are we gonna? We're gonna have to uh, once we go live or once we go in person in the studio. I guess we'll have to have people come in, and then people who can't make it will do remotely. But we'll still we'll figure it out. out. We'll figure it exactly. We'll figure it yeah. out. Back to that's the episode. A, that's a future podcast problem, not a present yeah, day podcast problem. That'll be next week, <laughs> and uh, hopefully, no one will see it. But uh, yeah, so they start looking for supplies and working on the ship. And uh, how does how does Omega get a, get separated from Wrecker? What happens there? Well, she's with Hunter. She's um, with Hunter. Who? Yeah. She gets separated because he he's trying to sell he's basically trying to sell military hardware to like the guy at the Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> the dude's like, I run a toy store, man. You're trying to sell me bombs. <laughs> <laughs> but it's um, worth so many credits. She uh she's playing with a little trooper doll and gets distracted by the I cannot remember what they're called. Um she gets distracted by the things and they one of the things grabs her trooper doll and it goes off so she's chasing after it to get the trooper doll that she right. shoplifted yeah, she's yeah. was it thief. was thief. that the the same um was she it the thing shoplift. from from uh um resistance that little dog thing with six legs or was that in another yes. scene no it was the same thing okay because i remember i turned to heather and i have i was like that was in resistance Good and eye. heather's like how do I file for divorce in Virginia? <laughs> <laughs> She's already got the papers. She's over there signing furiously. 
Yeah. Poor Heather. Um, so, so yeah. And then of course that's when, uh, Fennec approaches her yes. as a stranger, but someone who's there to help. Yeah. No one, no one nice on Camino enough. ever told Omega about stranger danger. <laughs> yeah. People in helmets of all, you know, it's like, or no, she didn't have her helmet on. That's why she was more approachable, I guess. I didn't think about that. Gotcha. Why does everyone in Star Wars have a helmet? Space. Fashion. Phoenix literally just is open, so you don't know that. It could be airtight. There's a there's a spacey shield that slides up. I don't know. Yeah, yeah like it, like uh from Rogue One, Jen Erso's uh, disguise. Dude, yeah. uh, that is I want Oh, I want to. They have the files online for that. I need to just do it. But I have so many things to do. Distracted. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so, if, yeah, Fennec, her, her helmet, it's useless. But it, I, it uh, you don't want to get shot in the head, right? It's probably protection. Yeah, well, it doesn't help her getting shot in the gut, Mandalorian, and having like a, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what but, you would even call it. A, you know, think a bionic about it. gut. She's a, a bounty hunter, almost. Almost all bounty hunters. Not all. I've never even seen Star Wars, so I probably shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but most most of these bounty hunters, they have helmets. You know? So it, it could be a headshot thing, you know? Covering your butt. That's like uh like Boba Fett dude. He he has every bell and whistle to protect him so that once he runs out of something, he's still got something else. He's got the flamethrower, he's got the freaking rockets in his knee pads. Like good god. He just it, I think it's like uh it's it's gotta be some tor- some sort of like bounty hunter thing where it's like you gotta be no you don't want people to know who you are. It and and of course they look cool, right? You hear us fine, Paul? Yeah, my headphones are sliding out. Oh yeah, popping back in. All right. Well, anyways, she runs into Fennec. Fennec makes her feel nice and safe. And I don't know if Fennec's trying to what ward get, get her away from. What is she trying yeah, to she's, do? She's trying to capture her. She, she's trying to get him away from the soldiers. After so, her so she can go claim the bounty on it. So she, oh, there's a bounty on Omega, right? Yes, right. she was hired to go retrieve Omega, right? By a mysterious person that we do not know yet. Hmm. It's almost like we're going to see her again. Wow, you're right. Mm. Almost and like f- they used her because she's hot right now. Yeah, so that, I was about to say that if you don't know, Fennec is a character from the Mandalorian first, right? Sure, was she in some other? Uh, no, Mandalorian was her first appearance. Uh, these episodes were being designed and written at basically the same time that they were doing Mandalorian. So she's created at the, and put into both shows basically at the same time. Yeah, so the Mandalorian is just what months or years after the, the uh, Order 66? Uh, 25 years. Yeah, because we, we yes. are. Weeks after episode three in Bad Batch, Mandalorian is years after Return of the Jedi. So how is Fennec here? She's young. young. She's old. <laughs> okay, well, I guess the animated here, I, 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 version I'm, doesn't... I'm going to blow think of your mind being super right now. <laughs> I, I'm going to blow your mind. Blow it. Go away. The actress who plays Fennec, mm-hmm. Ming-Na Wen, is 57 years old. That does blow my mind. <laughs> and that's terrible to say, but that really, I mean, that's, that's, she looks great. She made a deal with the devil. Wow. You, I, I thought you were going to be like a smart ass, but that really did blow my mind. <laughs> and I was going to take it too, but, um, but wow, that's, that is impressive. So yeah. Wow. That's cool. I hope that blew everyone else's mind. All how many? Did you say seven people were listening? Uh, I hope, yeah, we might I be up to ten now. now. We're down. Now we're down to six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they actually fall off as the podcast goes further on. I mean, we literally blew their mind. They're dead now. So yeah. You know. Well, I'm dead too. So you guys are going to carry on without me. Mm-hmm. Um. 
but yeah, so so Fennec, the the young and beautiful Fennec, forever young, uh, is hired to to go after Omega, and uh, that's that's what's going on there. But Hunter kind of reigns on a parade. Yeah, he he knows immediately. Oh, this is not a good person. Yeah, he he's doesn't follow, know, like, He's oh, sorry. I was gonna say he doesn't know like what she is or what she's after immediately right away but he can immediately tell no this is not someone we want to be near she has a helmet that's that's yep. all he needs to know mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. he brought a knife to a gunfight yep yep so and then the chase is on and uh Finnegan, that's pretty good it's a good chase it's a really good chase with them it, jumping from vehicles and he's on it, the speeder bike and everything running on the rooftops all that good stuff wayne uh what did what did what did you think, man? So far, no, I'm, I don't know. I, I just I, I enjoyed the episode, but if I had my choice, I'd have maybe chosen any other bounty hunter. But I mean, they chose her, so I mean, it was it was good. Oh, it so it you- reminds me of of the Legends days where it was like. Hey, remember that background character that it was in the cantina? Um, well, we have a uh, three book series about him. <laughs> I feel the same way about the next episode as well. It's like, hey, that ranker. Oh yeah, you know who it is. It's the ranker. Yeah. Well, yeah. I I was gonna um, ask if that was true or not, but well, I'll. I'll well, well, now, Wayne, we're getting to there. To Wayne's <laughs> concern, um, I don't think we've seen the last of Fennec here. And also, this makes an interesting connection to she's probably going to be in the Boba Fett show. What's yes, Boba Fett? Is. He's a clone. These are clones. So that adds an interesting <laughs> dramatic dynamic in that she is basically always connected to the clones. And, you know, maybe she knows something about their past. She can address that in the show. So it's like they forgot so, to put Fennec in the Clone Wars TV show. No. And they're just now getting around to it. They're like, oh man, now we got to put her in every every Clone Wars thing. Just, you know, I just think it's it adds a level of drama to see how, you know, she's dealing with the clones here, she's dealing with the clones there. Um, you, know, you could make the same argument if it was Bosk or IG-88 or Tad Bane or whoever. Yeah. I mean, the same argument applies every time. It's, just, it's interesting if it's a new character that we're getting to know. There are 88 characters in Star Wars. That's all you get. No more, no yeah, less. there is that. <laughs> There's 43 if J.J. Abrams is writing. <laughs> interesting. I'm learning so much. Um, you should be writing this down. Yeah, I'm not good at <laughs> writing stuff down. Or See, like I, like having, I like having Gunner in the group on the chat here because for the listeners that we do have, if they're like, you know, asking their friends, hey, if you listen to this, they're like, oh, I haven't seen Star Wars. They can be like, it's cool. One of their guys hasn't either. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. We should advertise that. It's like the main dude doesn't even know. Let's say advertise <laughs> it on YouTube. It's, it's like those reaction videos for people who watch things for the first time. Yeah, yeah you got to get a good for the for the thumbnail yeah lots of red arrows and circles and glowing yeah. red eyes I, I need to relinquish my my host <laughs> my hostly duties to someone more worthy <laughs> oh i've already hosted my own podcast we're good nah nobody wants more of that i don't have the money to lose so it's back on you <laughs> no. i'm glad that you guys are on here though because each one of you bring your own little your 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 own flavor. We're all zany. Woo woo whip whip whip. I think you might be the zany one. Uh and then, you know, we've got the walking in Enci- uh Star Wars Encyclopedia. <laughs> I, I should change my display name to just be well actually. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have the the armorer himself, Mr. Puckett. And like I said, I I literally am the guy who has not seen the movies and the sad part is i have seen them you know <laughs> and and i still it still is pretty obvious that it's like i didn't pay attention 
Um, but I love it so much, if you can't tell. So all you have to do is spend 10 years of your life watching the movies every single day. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, so, so back, where were we? We, uh, yeah, so we're so they, uh, going through they, that chase. Yeah, they chase through the street, the city streets. And at the same time, we're trying to get the the ship going because we know when the when we when we get there, we got to get got to get out of here. Yeah. Echo and the Bunnymen. I mean, Echo and the Droids. Uh, <laughs> hey, obscure '80s bands make funny jokes. <laughs> yeah. There's like yeah. one person who got that reference. Oh, I actually did. My stepmom was a big fan, and so she she uh she was a big fan of the Cure, of Echo and the Bunnymen, a bunch of those uh. Uh, kind of indie kind of uh you know uh, uh 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 it's it's like really early emo almost yes but yeah uh love he, it. uh he gets sold as a droid and steals the droids and uses them to go help uh rebuild the ship yep yep the droids they were working for the same guy who uh was running the 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 port. What do you call that? He was just running a little stand. No, it was the same guy the... he tried to sell his bomb to. Yeah. Oh, it was that guy. That's right. That's the, right. The cashier at Walmart at Space Walmart. That's <laughs> right. That's right. I was getting confused with the guy that was uh, talking to Finnick because there was the guy at the beginning who, uh, when they landed, he's yeah. So I'm confusing those guys. Classic. Uh, so yeah, they get back, they fix it up, they escape. I don't know, I don't remember. It was, it was pretty dramatic. They just yeah, if they wrecker got hit in the head again. We're we're really selling the point that if something's going to happen with wrecker and him hitting his head in every single episode, is it him? Yeah, he, he keeps head? going like oh yeah. I think it's it's got to be something going on with that chip. Is he hitting his head or is it his chip malfunctioning? Because I think it's both. Yeah, he's not helping. He's, he's taken. I mean, he's got like a the head of a NFL linebacker at this point. He's taken so many shots to the head. <laughs> well, they call that CTE. Yeah. <laughs> poor record. Yeah, he's over here. He can't even remember his name. Oh, poor record. Um, but yeah, uh, they uh, they make a dramatic escape, and I fully expected Finnick to shoot that guy at the dock, and she didn't. She paid him yeah that's true he was looking pretty he was pretty nervous too um but that was it that was the uh that was episode four cornered very good very good and uh yeah i I mean overall a good episode yeah it was even though they brought you know thinnick into it which is it's not the most interesting, but I like you said, Paul. They're probably going to tie it into everything, and it's gonna it's gonna be bigger. I guess I don't. I don't think we're done with her in the show yet either. Yeah, because they could have just as easily just made this a one off, just random, random dude. And the fact that they did make it her, and that there is this kind of mystery of who hired her and all this kind of mm-hmm. stuff, and that she's referenced in the next episode. Yeah, she's coming back at least one more time. Right now, she's not terribly interesting to me, but uh, I mean, we haven't seen a lot of her, so I'm hoping that, I mean, I felt the same way about, like, Bo-Katan and Ahsoka when we first saw them, so I'm hoping eventually we get enough backstory where it's like, okay, yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, That's what I was thinking, is maybe they're gonna, she's gonna be a bigger character than what we, what we ever thought. We'll see. But, um, in the next episode, Rampage, I don't think we get any uh, no. Do we? Do we hmm. see Finnick? We see a hologram of her. Okay. Well, we'll they get to that. Her. You have an excellent memory. Um, well, I watched it like two hours ago, so yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> the main thing in this next episode is the guys, they're, they're trying to figure out who this Finnick person is. And so they go to a uh, yeah, informant. I think it's hilarious. Uh, Echo overheard somebody talking at one point during the battles that this person <laughs> he's like, never met them, don't know what they look like, 
and it was Let's during go a to them for information. Yeah. Somebody somewhere mentioned this name. Let's go to them. <laughs> so they were, <laughs> they were some type of like informant and to the Jedi. Like yeah. she, worked she worked for the Jedi. She worked with the Jedi. Hmm. Yeah. And, and clearly when Omega, you know, sniffs out the right person in the cantina, like there's gotta be some force powers going on there. Yeah. There's, there's something up with her other than just being a girl. There's, she's got something else going on. I think mm-hmm. some, I, I, one of you, I think, or, on originally talked about how she might be like an attempt at the cloners to clone a Jedi, maybe, or like for, clone force powers into a clone. I, that's my thought. I think somewhere down that road is where we're going. Yeah, I agree. How would you do that? That's that's the question. Guess we'll find out. And, and is she the only one that they ever do that? You know, who knows? We'll see. Um, so they're trying to get some information, and uh, in exchange for that information, this Sid character, and she is like a. Is she? A, um, no. What is she? She's like the same creature as the. Uh, the Jedi and the High Republic. Yes, Trandoshan. Trandoshan. Oh, uh, like Bosk. Yes. Wait, Bosk? Uh, oh, yeah, they all are. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a Trandoshan Jedi? They're just different colors. I'm, I'm, High Republic, I'm so used yeah. to Bosk being just kind of yellow. I still need to read slash look at the High Republic things. It's good stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading it. another one of the books. I just started yeah. it today. Got something back there. I've got like two or three that I haven't read yet, but I'm a, I've got all of them, so, except for the the first one. Wayne, are you still gonna you still gonna give me that first copy? Hmm? Yeah, if I remember to go. Yeah, we'll do it on Saturday. If only there was a comic shop that we were talking about going to on a Saturday. <laughs> that's true. That's true. We um we don't we we haven't talked about that. What that's for the do? outtakes. <laughs> all right, uh, back, back back to this. So there she's. Um, Sid is looking for the Tridosian. Tridosian. Trandosian. Trandosian. Um, I actually, there's a skull. No, there it is. That's a Trandosian. That's a Yoda. You have their skull, and you don't even know what they are. Well, I can't really see what they are. (laughs) That's that's the problem. But um, yes, I don't know what they are. Um, but I do. Oh, I want to print the uh. Kim and Owens have one of their skulls too. Droid. Yeah, I got. Sorry, thank you, Wayne. <laughs> Keep me on track, buddy. Keep me on track. Um, droid. Just droids. Send, just send him a text every day. Droid. I droid. would welcome it, but I want. Droid. I'm not going to respond. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, okay, I need to do that. Um, so we got uh, we got the the guys. They're in exchange for this information. They're going to have to find this child. Yeah, she sends them to go find says, a, a child, Muchi, has been kidnapped by Zygerian slavers. Yes, and Jabba, the hut, is, uh, is who's, we who's don't, we don't willing know to pay for this. Until, Wait, until what? Later. They don't know well, about the yeah, Jabba connection. Yeah, we only see... Um, and we don't know Jabba the, until later. The, oh, I thought like she guy. said, I thought she told him that it was from Jabba. Mm-hmm. Spoiler, sorry, man. Wow. We're going to have to restart. <laughs> the whole thing um so yeah that's it they're 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 looking for this kid so they what do they do they basically fly to the, uh, another planet just always flying I was, around i was unclear if it was on the same planet or a different planet because she mentioned something like the other side of the planet and like it, this was like solo and rogue one all over like, are we on the <laughs> same planet or do we go to a different planet? yeah well, didn't they say it was – I thought uh, Echo said that they would have to go there. I don't think they were already there. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it was on the same planet. E- um, either way, they, she they have the to. the other side of the planet, so I'm guessing they're in the same planet. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where you never – I, I just wish they put up a little subtitle that says what planet you're on. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was about to say. Like We're going to go read the subtitles. Don't they do that in either Rogue One or Solo? Rogue One, I Rogue, think. Rogue One. 
Solo needs it because I am so confused on Solo. I, have no I liked idea. it in Rogue One, but I almost felt like it was too much. It was just like, uh, uh, uh. they just had a lot of words. It's just not Star Wars-y. Um, I don't think it was only one word. <laughs> no, it would be literally they would go between like two or three planets in like less than 60 seconds. And you would see it pop up and like when the movie first starts off, I was just like, dang, dang, dang. Um, yeah, to help you know where I could have been are. watching a different movie. Who knows? Um, <laughs> the, yeah, you haven't seen Rogue One yet, remember? I, I, it was probably another, yeah, another Rogue movie. Um, but the planet, I can't even, I just, I'm, I'm at a blank as far as where they go. But when anyway, they get moving. there, they, uh, isn't there like a, some kind of resistance going on? Is there a, no, no. The the slavers wherever they end up going, there's where the slavers have started capturing people. Okay. And it's kind of their little base camp. Wait, no, they went to Ord Mantel. Yeah, that's the planet that they're on. At least they go to in the beginning. I don't know if it. they stayed on Ord Mantel the whole time, or if they left Ord Mantel they, and went to a different planet. They did. They, they did back. stay on. Now I'm remembering because they said. That they went to, they had to go to the ruins of old or like old Ord Mantel or something. And like okay. when you see the, when they go to fight the slavers, they're in like these old looking ruins. Okay, so it's just the other side of the planet. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. But it's not Pantora. They've left Pantora. No. Yeah. Pantora, they left in the last episode. Have we seen gotcha. Ord Mantel in canon? Because I know that. Um, Han Solo mentions Ord Mantel in like Empire Strikes Back, maybe or something like that. I think this is our first time seeing it because Ord Mantel, I know, is like a a big planet in the Old Republic um, MMORPG, and you spend a lot of time there. So I was looking at the ruins and wondering, like, I wonder if they took because the obviously that was the the Old Republic game is like three thousand years before this. So I'm like. I wonder if the stuff from that game could be the ruins that we're seeing now. I wonder if someone like went back and like looked at them to see if they match up. Probably not, but it'd be cool if they did. Possibility. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so they're there. To, they're basically fighting off slavers, right? Yep. And they uh, they see like men and children. I don't know if there's women there too. No, it was uh, there was a man, a child, and then a, another. Presumably law. was human or human-like, and then there's uh, what looked like a father and daughter who were green. I don't know what they were. Right. See, you know what they looked like to me? They looked like um, there was that that like the movie that wasn't a movie, and there was like a crappy N64 game that they made. What was that called oh, like Shadows of the Empire? Yeah, it looked like the green drug lord guy. That's what oh, they remind me of. Z- uh, yeah. It's a gooby gooby. I don't know. What's it, Wayne? G Shore. Yeah. Yeah. I had that good. action figure. I had that Power of the Force action figure, and he had the purple, like, uh, uh, robe that went over top. And That's what a, the. He almost looked like Goro because he had, like, green skin and a little ponytail that came out the back. That's of what the little kid reminded me of because it had green skin and that ponytail. And I was like, I wonder if, like, could this be that same character? Because this is, like, what, 25, however many years before that? I don't know if that character is canon or if we've seen it other places. Uh, character is not canon. Species is. The species is because uh, Darth Maul's talking to him. Yeah. Uh, Darth Maul already took over. He's running that syndicate at that moment. Mm. Yeah. So, um, as they. Uh, you know, the, I think even Omega, they, they assume that the young blue child is Moochie. Yeah. And that's when they realize that, no, Moochie is, uh, well, actually, Omega gets the idea to open up the, the crate. Yeah, she sees something in a big crate and she unlocks it to uh, help free everybody. And uh, and there is Moochie, and Moochie is a baby Rancor. Yeah. Which uh, it's safe to assume it's the same one from Return of the Jedi. Yeah, yeah, probably. 
kind of bums you out. Like they, they go through all this effort to save it. And then it just ends up getting like basically enslaved in Jabba's basement. (laughs) Yeah. But uh, you know what? And I was thinking too, that the guy uh, that was, you know how there was the dad, the younger blue child, and then the other like humanoid guy, he was kind of a Mm -hmm. big guy. He kind of looked like the big guy that, uh, it could have been that, but he it wasn't. The... He rode off with the other guys and left. See, I thought maybe he was going to stick been around and... at the same time. He could have was... been like, I don't want to fight. There's is a fight going on. I'm going to get shot. Yeah, but that's, and a, ran away. that's a missed opportunity right there. He should have been like, hmm, I'll take you to Java's Palace. And, you know, I think, I think that'd buddies. be a bit too many, like 88 characters total in Star Wars. Like, we need, you know, <laughs> it'd be nice if they're not all hanging out at the same time all the time. What is the Rancor Keeper's name? Malakili. Jason Malakili. Pizzino. <laughs> is that a, uh, a, a squad member? <laughs> yeah. He, he's why would you compare Honky and Harry and <laughs> Oh, does he do the does he do his cosplay? He wants to. We're yeah, we we he's seriously play. talked about it. Okay. That's right, that's right. Um so yeah, maybe that's what I was thinking, but then he he rides off on the speeder bike, and I was like, ah, that's not him. That's not him. He could have been. He could have been trusting that they would free him. Free, but they, uh, uh, Moochie. But uh, Moochie is like out of control, and so Wrecker has to just fight him until he gets him nice and tired. He has then, to establish uh, dominance. Yes, because he's uh, he's he's got to be the alpha. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's very interesting. But yeah, they uh, they all become friends. You get to see good old Bib Fortuna in his prime. Yeah, interesting that they show him after executing him in the last episode of The Mandalorian. That's how you do it, baby. <laughs> well, you already uh, saw Bib in his prime. You may not know this, but in episode one, they show him. There's a movie that set the start the the saga, and it deals with a young Anakin. And there's a young Bib Fortuna there. And this was in 1977? Mm, no, no, no. This is the 99 one. Oh. So basically, Star Wars is just oh. the story of Bib Fortuna. <laughs> Loosely, yes. Bib Fortuna and C-3PO. <laughs> now I think I'm going to watch it. But did uh, you know, here's random, random little trivia. The actor who played Bib Fortuna is Matthew Wood who is also the voice of Grievous. He works at Lucasfilm Sound. He also played Bib Fortuna in The Mandalorian and provided the voice here. Wow. He's a prolific guy. Yeah. And that's the same guy that was Bib Fortuna in this episode one that Wayne speaks of? Yes. Okay. I hear he's actually a really cool guy. Yeah. I've never met him, but yeah, he seems really cool. You didn't meet him at the premiere or anything? I swear to you, I would just say, I want to I would have to say. Dad, I just have to walk up and do the Obi Wan. Hello there. I would just yeah. cough at him. <coughs> I'd be like, What's I, I wouldn't Wars? recommend doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, all the times to do that now ain't the time. <laughs> so, yeah, they, um, they give the. Uh, the ring core back where he go where he belongs and uh sid gives him a reward but uh doesn't find out anything about uh old fennec no nope, they never did find out who she was working for mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but uh she she offers them uh Says you can keep jobs in the future me. yeah and uh and they don't really say no <laughs> they're just like and you know they they just basically helped uh, a slaver get a giant monster from other no, slavers. No, uh-huh. sure. Job is a slaver. He's got slaves. Mm. He's a never, he's a never, gangster. He's a, well, he's a gangster more than he's a slaver. I think he's, bad batch. If he, has, if he has slaves, they're just for him. He doesn't like sell. Slaves. Oh, they're just for him. Yeah. yeah, he has his own slaves, is that but what, his whole thing is drugs. Yeah. So Thomas Jefferson said, you know, they're just for yes. him. Yes. Yeah, Job and so. Thomas Jefferson had the same ideology. <laughs> no, no, no. You no. <laughs> Wayne has the appropriate response. 
They're both overseas during the revolution. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's gonna wrap up the, the 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 rampage episode, which is the perfect you just title. You compared Jabba to Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> well, there's your Jabba episode title right there. That evil. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I'm here. I'm, here's there's a lot a, of stuff uh, coming out. Here's a fun bit of trivia that'll uh, make Wayne happy. Jabba trivia. This is the. Uh, this episode featured the third cast member from Cheers in Star Wars. That would be. Can you name all three? Well, it's Ratzenberger, one of them. Yes, he's in okay. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, knew that. Um, let's see. See what's what's funny is one of them is so obvious. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> Dun, 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 is it, uh, dun. Uh, uh, what's her real name? Uh, Rhea Perlman? Yeah, she was the voice of Sid. Yeah. Uh, so Can so you name the third, third one? You're oh, going to okay. feel so stupid. Now, is, this, is this from movies or TV shows? Yes. Is it, <laughs> yes. Am I looking at movie or TV show? Yes. Movie. It, it's, it's literally staring you in the face. <laughs> literally staring me in the face well okay it's me figuratively it's staring you in the face <laughs> yeah watch your watch your words it, it is a very very large character and you'll feel very stupid for being like how did i completely overlook this main character of one of the movies is a cast member of cheers oh wait um woody carols Yes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I never watched Cheers, so like I wouldn't have known. You said that, it's right. Like... It's right in front of him. Was it because uh, we were just talking about R- R- Rogue One? What? S- solo. Oh, but solo. Solo. Well, I just mean like he's a main character in Solo, and it's like he's yeah. a significant part of the movie. I was thinking like the, Cheers, the main trilogies. <laughs> hey man, Star Wars story is a real trilogy. It's part of it. I was thinking of like the the like the the um the posters in my head where you can like see all the characters in one place, <laughs> yeah. and I was trying to be like, uh, okay, you got Leia, you got Luke, you got Darth Vader. <laughs> well, not you don't see the Woody Harrelson Cheers connection as much anymore. He's kind of become like Woody John Harrelson, the movie star. John Ratzenberger's in A New Hope and Empire, isn't he? No, it's just Empire. Just Empire. He's one of the rebel officers on the base. Yeah, he has like one line of dialogue. Right on. Is it? Ah! No, he's. Um, I Sounds think good. he's the guy who comes up and says to Leia that they uh, the shield doors must be closed. Yeah, I think that's him. It is. Great, Major Bren Durbin. Well, I think that about does it for the. Uh... The squad cast this week, unless we have some show and tell. Was, uh, uh, you, want, you want me to you want me to show off this little thing that yeah. we've been working on? Yep, yep, yep. Sometimes you want to go where Ooh. Paul knows everybody's name. <laughs> <laughs> Only if they're in Star Wars. If you're real people, I terrible at remembering names. Dang, you got the ear uh the earmuffs done pretty good. Yeah. So this was uh with some help from Wayne. Yeah, I came yeah. over earlier and I taped it all off and then I painted it. Yeah, and then he yeah. did the blue. Piled down the ears. I did the blue stripes earlier tonight. So the I decals? was going to get. Yeah, so the stripes are decals. Everything else is hand painted. Let me see the uh, the vocoder on the front good. here. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Clean, clean. My vo- my vocoder was a mess. I was like, I kept over painting, and then I was like wiping it off and wiping it off. It looks it looks great now, but it was a pain. Yeah, so glorious. Yeah, cut it out and worked on it on the armor party this past weekend. And when we got off of here, I'm gonna plug my glue gun back in, and I'm going to put in the lens and the uh, mesh that goes behind the teeth. And you gotta put foam in to make it fit. Yeah, I'll do that. I don't know if I'll do that tonight or not. Yep, yep, yep. What? Um, 
level of restraint you show greatly beats mine to a shit ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's also 9.30 and I gotta work tomorrow. Yeah, we all gotta work, right? Well, I have an alarm that goes off at 6.45. They don't pay me enough to not fit a helmet to my head. <laughs> <laughs> that's to do with me being late. Plus I have all of next week off to work on stuff. You'd be like, why are you late? Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. Well, did anybody else have anything they want to show off? I already showed off my melted gun. Just pretty, pretty sad. But I think we might can bring it back to life. Read War of the Bounty Hunters and play Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Yeah. Well, I uh, we'll be I, over at uh, we'll be over at Evans soon. You can use his heat gun. We'll do it there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yep. We'll do it. I'll do it. Well, or we'll make it worse, and it, it's never coming back. Probably. Well, this should be our last remote mm. virtual. We'll see how everything goes. Yeah. Um, okay. But thank you all for listening. Uh, let's cue that outro music. If you guys are interested in checking out the approval photos and stuff on your on your own you can go on instagram and look up the garrison tyrannus uh, instagram page and check out all those awesome approval photos as they come through um that's all of virginia so if you're anywhere in virginia that's your you can pop up there uh we also have the squad cast available on apple podcast we've got it on google podcast and spotify and of course you can watch the video portion of it on youtube um if uh if anyone is uh in the the legion or interested in the you know possibly joining us send us a message we love to have people on and we're gonna be going uh going into the studio in person here soon so yeah looking forward to that so studio there it is look oh my god just wait till we tear it up. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a reward zone. It'll be great. Um, well, thank you everybody for listening, and until next time, bye bye. Bye. Have fun. <laughs>